Hello, everyone. Thank you again for uh, being here with us at uh, Connecting Community with Giovanni Matt. It is a great honor for um, us uh, to have you on board us every week. Today, we have a wonderful uh, opportunity to have uh, a special guest, and we have Ms. Nitza Franco, who's running as a Democratic candidate for the IC Town Receipt of Taxes. So, Ms. Franco, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. You're welcome. It's a great honor to have you uh, Connecting Community with Giovanni Mata, and now we're connecting the public to your um, running, to your race. Yes, yes. So, yes. as you mentioned, my full name, Nitza Franco. I'm running for Receiver of Taxes for Town of Islip. Um, currently 28, the youngest candidate on our slate. Um, so it's very exciting to learn a lot of new um, ideas and be out and meeting people. Um, pretty much a little bit about my background. I am a mixture of Puerto Rican and Honduran, and my stepfather is Salvadorian. I've always lived here in the town of Islip, and now in the past couple years, I participate in a lot of community events, community um, organizations, helping the community and being out in the public. And I know uh, part of your uh, background is that you have a lot of expertise in finances and yes. accounting, so you have worked a lot with the business community. Yes, I have, also with operations, uh, managing, so it, it is very exciting to be out and uh, running for something that I do like and adore. Okay. Well, so how, how, does it, how did it come that you came into uh, getting involved in, in, in running for the Tunnel Advisor Receipt of Taxes? Um, well, initially started um, last year when I was first doing petitioning with uh, Jorge Guadron, which is now running for town clerk for Town of Islip on the same slate. Uh, we were collecting signatures for him to be on the committee, uh, this, the um, New York State Committee member. And I was also trying to be on as a member as well, but I missed it by like two signatures. Uh, which was horrible, but um, then this year uh, he approached me as well stating if I wanted to run for a position. I, at, at first I wasn't aware and I really didn't know, but we looked into it and it, this goes very well with my background and my experience and this is why we, we started this slate of candidates. So tell me about your experience. How many years of experience you have in finance and accounting? Um, financing, seven years. Managerial, 12 total. Okay, so, and do you think that that will make you a wonderful um, um, and a qualified candidate for the receiver of taxes position? Uh, yeah, because if you look at the um, responsibility of a receiver of taxes, you're managing budgets and distributing, obviously also collecting taxes, um, and, and that is what I do on a daily basis in the banking field as well. Um, also being treasurer of a few organizations, that is where I learned a lot more of the experience on the on the financial side also. Um, and then I, I know I could bring new ideas to this town board, which is the great part about it as well. And I know you, you're, you're running with some um, colleagues and friends of mine that I personally know uh, for in the Democratic Party for the town of ISIP. Uh, and your position is an administrative position. Correct. Um, how do you uh, plan, or how do you uh, think that you will improve the effectiveness of government in the receipt of taxes position? Do you plan to bring your customer service experience to the taxpayers? Because there is a lot of um, concern sometimes on the public that government does not necessarily treat people as clients as they should be treated in, in the corporate world. Well, if you think about it, you know, we all, me including, because I live in the town of Islip, I am a taxpayer as well. Um, you know, we work so hard to pay our taxes and we want to be recognized and we want that type of um, voice as well. So I believe that with that, um, you know, we're all going to, oh, um, sorry, kind of lost my train of thought. Um, where was I saying? I forgot. It's okay. We, we, we edit. We'll cut that one. So yeah. we'll give the time. Okay. Um, going back. Taxes. Taxes. You know, we all pay taxes. Oh, yeah. So I do believe as a taxpayer that we, we need a voice in, our, in the community. And I feel that me as, even though I'm in an administration position, I could still bring great ideas in improving and making the tax receiving office a lot easier and accessible to our, our community and our people that live in our area. Wonderful. We're going to go to a small break and we'll be right back speaking to Ms. Nessa Franco, running for the Civil of Tax in the town of ISIP in the Democratic line. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi everyone, I'm Corinne Caro here with Daniel M, host of Front Row on The Daily Blue. Daniel, you've been doing a great job. I love having you here at The Daily Blue. I'm a little close right here. <laughs> Tell us what you look for in a guest. Uh, you know what? I like when people have a certain style and an opinion about fashion, uh, fitness, grooming, anything that really is uh, an inspiration to the viewers. Hmm. I've noticed I've never been on your show, Daniel. Well, we're going to have to fix that. Oh, so I do have style? You do have style. Winning. Doesn't mean we can't go shopping, though. Oh, great. <laughs> See you on the front row every week on thedailyblue.com. Thanks so much. Well, thank you again, and welcome back to Connecting Community with Giovanni Mata. We have a wonderful um, candidate here with us, uh, Ms. Nitza Franco, who's running for receipt of taxes in the Democratic uh, Party uh, for the primary election to be taking place on September 10th, which is going to be a Thursday. So, Ms. Franco, we were talking about your um, background and experience, you know, in the finance, customer service uh, field. So how, how do you plan to implement those? Um, expertise into the government experience, you know, how people will have a different feeling when they come and approach government in your office. Well, I will, I'm a very easygoing, I love the new ideas, so for me, if, if people want to suggest ideas or, new, or even feedback, I'm, my doors will always be open. Um, I do want to make one, a few things a little bit more accessible. Um, and open to everyone, especially in the language side. We do need more Spanish and French and more, more of the all the other languages as well. Um, I do want to make paying your taxes easier and accessible as well. Um, and I don't know, that's it <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay, so um, in regards to the slate, I know we I know there is a slate for the town of Isip, uh with the other candidates. Um, tell us about the other candidates that you have um, on your slate. Uh, well, currently we town have uh, town supervisor, which will be Rick Montano. Uh, we have two councilmen, um, Donovan Curry for councilman and Miriam Ventura for councilwoman. Uh, we also have Jorge Weatheron, which is another, another administrative position, which is for town clerk, and then myself as receiver of taxes. And you have such a wonderful diversity ticket, diverse ticket for the town of Islip. Yes, and then that is what actually also one of the reasons why we I joined the slate as well is because we need more representation in our community. We needed uh, people that live and work in the area um, to make decisions for our, our communities, you know, especially in the Brentwood, Bayshore, and CI area. And you graduated from uh, from Brentwood, correct? I did, yes, from Ross High School. And then you went to school? At Suffolk Community College, correct. So you, everything has been local, everything has been yes. with the town of yes. Isley. And I do believe in small businesses and keeping our community growing here in Suffolk and obviously town of Isley as well. Okay. Well, what do you think, uh, you know, you're, you're very young, uh, what should be some of the motivations that you can um, tell the young people and some of the community members to get involved in this race, to support? Uh. Um, well, I actually started a youth, because our slate is United to Reform Islip, we started a youth group, which is Youth for United to Reform Islip. And the purpose of that is to get uh, more of the younger generation engaged and, and teaching. You know, we want people to know and have that awareness of, okay, where do I go to vote? How do I register to vote? Um, maybe they could be poll workers. So it, it's just, that knowledge, and that's very crucial in any business, doesn't matter if it's politics or not politics, knowledge is, is key. Um, so I believe that if you share the experience, people will get more, be more engaged in the process. Um, and that's a big thing. So we have been um, sharing a lot with the youths group um, on our Facebook, and we have an email address also that, we, that anyone, if you have any questions or concerns, which is reformislip at gmail.com. Um, and that actually goes to all of the candidates, so e any of us can easily respond back. Wonderful. Okay, so now we have uh, Ms. Nissa Franco here, who is part of the United to Reform team for the ISIS Democratic um, uh, candidates, official candidates in, in the Democratic line going for September 10th election. So your candidates are Rick Montano, Miriam Ventura, Donovan Curry, Ms. Franco, of course, and Mr. Jorge Guadron. So those are the candidates that are running for um, this race in September. So, Ms. Franco, we wanted to thank you for thank being you. a connecting community with Giovanni Mata and invite all of our voters to support this team on this date, you know, since they are the options for diversity 
and change and to reform the town of Isaac. So thank you very much. Thank Ms. Franco, you. thank you very much <laughs> thank again. Thank you so much. And it will be up to the next. God bless everyone.